So then the question is, why are those constants different? And this is where I pass it over to Dr. Yu for his example, right? Yes, uh, okay. that's exactly what's wrong with Newton's gravitational uh, equation. Mm. It is assuming the higher mass, you know, gravity was proportional to mass, you know, uh, to the mass. The higher mass, you will have a higher gravitational force. Mm. That's exactly what's wrong. When you use Newton's law to, to look at a, what is a, a, a galaxy rotating, spiral, spiral galaxy rotating, you said, how could some galaxy on the edge of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. On the edge of a galaxy, rotate so fast. Newton's law just does not generate enough force to them because that interaction is not a Newtonian mm -hmm. interaction. It's not based on the mass. It's based on, the, based on what is a, called a magnetic, electromagnetic attraction, mm. which is a 10 to the 36 power, which means 10 times 36 zeros <laughs> higher than gravity. Yeah. So if you replace Newton's law, wrongly assuming force higher than mass, mm -hmm. because at that time we do not know what mass is, okay? Just so that's why we have this called a dark, uh, dark matter, because we're missing matter, and we have a black hole at the center of the galaxy. We found that something rotates super fast, yep. and we're missing mass. Exactly what's wrong with you? You don't you assuming something proportional to mass, mm. so you do not have enough mass. Oh. It's a magnetic force. 